guys, so this week's video is going to be an interesting video because it is educational. However, it is a video that has been requested from four of my clients. So when several of my clients request it, then I actually do the video. So this is a uh, video that's educating on some uh, points that were pointed out in Dr. Berg's video on how to treat fine lines and wrinkles that are not exactly exactly accurate and I want to make sure that you guys know that this is not coming from a standpoint of becoming dramatic or stirring up drama so here we go so the first one is uh, we're gonna take a look at sections of the video and then I'm going to uh, give you actual facts on them so I'm gonna have you take a look at this first part of the video you have friendly bacteria on your skin right and uh, if you sterilize it the skin becomes red Okay, so let's go over the first part. The first thing is you cannot sterilize the skin. There's only three levels of decontamination. The highest level is sterilization, which is typically referred to as sterilizing things like medical implements where you're eliminating all um, bacteria, such as taking stainless steel medical implements and putting them in an autoclave. The temperature has to be really, really hot. Then the next level down is disinfection. The lowest level is sanitizing. So like washing your hands really, really well. That is sanitizing. Now, when you take an antiseptic like alcohol and you rub it on the skin before you give a shot or put a needle into that, you're lowering the level. Sometimes it can be referred to as disinfecting, but um, the correct term is san sanitizing. So when my client talked about, well, aren't we going to sterilize the skin first before you treat it i said well unless you want to kill your skin tissue your live tissue because on our skin we have a microbiome of both live good and bad bacteria so yes we want to reduce the amount of live bacteria on our skin to reduce um, infection but you cannot sterilize the skin like sunflower oil for example are in creams facial creams it's going to dry out your skin now, I'm not really sure why Dr. Berg would say this because sunflower oil does not dry out the skin. There are clinical studies, study after study after study after study, where they have used topical sunflower oil with skin conditions that nothing seems to work, especially in skin conditions where they're lacking that essential fatty acids, such as people who have, especially infants. Infants are born, uh, sometimes they are lacking some of the essential fatty acids in their skin, such as um, omega-6. So that's why um, infant eczema is very common. So I will put all the links of these, some of the studies, because there's so many um, in the description below, but they top, they use these on um, people who have infant eczema, adults with eczema, psoriasis, and postmenopausal skin. They do these studies because these are typically your skin types that are lacking these. Um, essential fatty acids and that's why you see them a lot of times in skincare products um, that are targeted towards these type of skin conditions now it's not the oils that can necessarily dry out the skin there are different there are several different factors and it depends on where you live what your skin type is what your diet is like however um, when you're putting oil on the skin these are basically emollients and can also be used as an occlusive, right? So occlusive basically means it layers on top of the skin and it keeps the moisture in your skin. It keeps it from evaporating. Now, when we talk about moisturizers and you look at the ingredients there, you'll notice that there'll be a combination of ingredients that have um, emollients, humectants, and occlusive. So this is a, a combination of where it has things that help soften your skin, brings moisture to the skin and keeps that moisture on top so in the last 100 years uh, we have been increasing the seed oils in our diet to a factor of 1600 percent more and even in the last 20 years we've doubled the amount of seed oils highly inflammatory oxidizes the skin now when you're ingesting these seed oils how it affects the skin and the fine lines and wrinkles is that it introduces what's called reactive oxygen species um, into your skin. Now, these are basically free radicals and they wreak havoc. They cause inflammation throughout the body. And how it affects the collagen and elastin is it breaks down the collagen and elastin because of the free radicals. Now, it's not just uh, 
eating these processed seed oils. It's also eating a combination of protein and sugars together and or fats and sugar together. So what that happen, what happens is um, there's a process that's called glycation that's introduced in the body. And this reduces elasticity in not only your blood vessels and your tendons, but your skin. Now we lack the enzymes in our body to be able to get rid of these glycated, glycated end products. And so what happens is you have an accumulation of these um, metabolized end products. And this is what causes the accelerated aging. So I know some of my cl clients are like, does this mean that barbecue foods is, um, you know, aging your skin because it's a combination of fats and sugars and protein and sugar. And I'm like, yeah, not only that is because it's cooked in very high heat, which introduces a lot of free radicals into your body. Bummer, I know. Now, Dr. Berg recommends using beef tallow as moisturizer to help treat or transform your skin and treat fine lines and wrinkles. And that's a whole nother video. And that is actually coming up. If you wanna know what good oils are for you, as well as not so great for your health, go ahead and click on this video and we'll see you in the next video. Remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science.